okay in this tutorial our topic is the garden automation or you can see that we are creating a project on iot of the garden although there isn't any sort of simulation in proteus and in matlab specially used for the garden but still we will try to do some sort of simple simulation within the matlab so in order to start we need to write guide in the command window then we will press enter then we will select create new gui and then we will press ok we will click and we will maximize its size now there must be heading on the top of the gui and we will double click on it then the inspector window will be open and here we will change its font size it must be 20 font weight must be bold background color must be like uh, we can say like dark gray and foreground color of the text must be blue now we will write the name of the topic like uh, like garden smart garden slash automation or the garden automation then we will again put a slash and we will write iot of garden or garden iot the best word is garden iot so all these are our heading now we will first of all we will create we will take one axis then we will press ctrl c and ctrl v then ctrl v Okay, now we have three axes arranged in the linear form. Now in axis number one, we will create some sort of garden like uh, some plants or some like uh, plant pots, etc. But first of all, we also need one push button okay we will right click on it we will go to the callback function of the push button and we will click on it here we have created the project now now we are in the push button one callback what it means that whenever the button is pushed or pressed our all the instructions we will give here will be executed so here with this function we want to we want 
to show the plant pictures on axis 1 and where it is in thumbnail we have yeah we have these plant 1 and plant 2 pictures so we will go to the properties and we will copy the path one more thing that i will attach these pictures in the description so you can download these pictures from that link uh, it is of fileup.org so you can download it from the link given in the description and here you can see that this one is the path of the file this one is the name and dot png is the format of the file so now we will go to the coding again and we will write path then we will place slash and then we will write then we will write plant underscore one dot png then also one more thing that we will write axis handles dot axis one so in axis one our plants are now here and they are displayed in the axis one now we will create one more command for the second picture control v and it it will be like e is equal to and it must be like plant 2 dot png and axis must be the second one that is handles dot axis 2 so the first figure will be shown inside the axis 1 and the second will be inside the axis 2 so hopefully both will work fine now when we will press the push button now our both the figures are here in the uh, what's called as the axis in the mentioned axis so now we are making its front end so that is why first of all after after this front end we will move towards programming and rest of the other things okay now there is third axis and in third axis we will we will do one thing that we will make axis 3 small and we will try to put one sensor inside this axis 3 so we will go to the folder and we will see that where is the axis so we will write dht and this is our sensor we will go to the properties we will write we will copy the link again the same process will be repeated like control c and control v but in in at that time we will change e to f and then dht underscore 11 dht underscore 11 dot PNG now we got our sensor the display of our sensor but we have to change its position from here to here 
Energy plants. Now we got our sensor that is DHT 11. Okay, now we will move to the next sensor. We will control C and control V the axis 3 and then we will get axis 4. So for axis 4. This must be changed to exist four, and here we will put our soil moisture sensor here. We will go to the properties and we will copy its name. Its type is dot png and its path is f thumbnail. So we just need to change the name of it name so and here you can write like uh, g so q e f and g although if variable is repeated still there isn't any sort of problem you can repeat the variable okay now when we will press button we got our soil sensor uh, sorry moist soil moisture sensor okay now is we have to place our okay axis 3 here now we will see that either yeah so it is placed on plants now we will do same with axis 4 here here like this and okay so here is our moisture sensor here is our temperature sensor now the main thing in our project is the a node MCU and for node MCU we will take one one axis okay so this is our axis okay like uh, we will we will place it here we will run it so that it will be read by the MATLAB then we will again go to the push button we will go to callback and these things so we will press ctrl C and ctrl V exist 5 and we will we will go to the properties we will go to the okay we, we will just do one thing that we will copy its name we will go here and we will just write uh, the name of the file because type and links are the same so here we will write like uh, h variable now we will run it and we will see that we have placed our what's called as the node mcu so front and one part is completed so stay tuned for the next part we will complete hopefully it in three to four parts so thanks for watching